myself dr sunil joshi working as a dean faculty of ayurveda in gokul global university this university is established in 2018 and recognized by university grant commission government of india and last year that is in 2019 uh, we have uh, started gokul ayurvedic college which is affiliated to ccm and recognized by ayush and uh, i am working as a principal and a hospital student in gokul ayurveda college so before starting this session i want to say thanks to youth for ayurveda who is working uh, towards uh, uh, ayurveda in uh, development of ayurveda in india as well as abroad and uh, in this uh, current pandemic condition uh, they have started uh, uh, guest lectures guest speakers to promote the ayurveda and uh, mainly thing is uh, to promotion of they are working on the promotion of health and on same concept they are given the topic uh, introduction to swastharta in ayurveda and its future perspective to me so coming to the uh, point this is introduction to swastharta in ayurveda so if we uh, gone through ashtanga ayurveda we get kaya vala graha urdhvanga shalya dastra jara avashe will not know where we will get the word swastharta But the swastata comes under the word Kajikisa, the branch. Uh, uh, the swastata comes under the branch of Kajikisa. So, uh, if you go through Charaka, they are explained the swastata chatushka, where we will get the uh, dinner charya, rotu charya, ahara, nidra, etc. Things. Uh, so, this so mainly the aim of Ayurveda. That is, Ayurveda is an ancient medical science that has flourished from ages to till date. and it is a science that impart the knowledge of life in word ayurveda itself we get ayusho veda iti ayurveda this gives the uh, knowledge of life so ayurveda mainly focuses on the preventive as preventive aspect rather than the uh, curative that is main aim is swasthasya swastha rakshanam aturasya vikara prashamanam that is swasthasya swastha rakshanam so to maintain the health of healthy person and if not then go for the treatment of the diseased one or uh, cure the uh, patient so uh, it is a science and art of preventing disease prolonging life and promoting the health so this uh, ayurveda is a science where we will get the majority of things to promote the like that is dharmartha kama moksha arogya muluttamam that is arogya is the main thing health is the main thing to achieve the chaturvedha purushartha so for achieving the chaturvedha purushartha we have to get the swastha so we want to be a swastha then the primary aim of ayurveda swastha se swastha as we have discussed swastha se swastha rakshana and aturasya vikara prashamanam then what is the swastha then many uh, reference will get the regarding the definition of swastha samadosha samagnischa samadhatu mala kriya prasanna atmendriya mana स्वस्थ इत्यादि दीयते इट इज रेफर बाय द सुश्रुत एंड इफ यू गो थ्रू काश्यप एटसेट्रा दे आर काश्यप संहिता देन काश्यप दे आर एक्सप्लेन द अन्ना विलाश भुक्तस्य परिपाक सुखेन च सुष्ट विमुत्र वातत्वम शरस च लागवम सुप्रसन्न इंद्रियत्वम च सुख स्वप्न प्रबोधनम बल वर्ण आयुषो लाभो सौमनस्य समाग्नता विद्यात आरोग्य लिंगानि विपरीत विपरीय दिस इज द डेफिनेशन गिवन बाय द kashyap sanhita and while you go to the ashtonita adhyay in charak sanhita will get the uh, lakshana of swastha uh, they are get the swastha uh, lakshana and uh, if you go through modern science that is in preventive and social medicine by k park they are defined as a health the state of physical mental and social well being not merely an absence of disease or infirmity infirmity means simple uh, aswastha purusha that is in a simple if uneasiness you find it is called as a uh, diseased one same thing is explained in the our sanhita also and uh, if go through utility of swastharta what is the use of swastharta so the main is in world wide if we uh, go through everywhere is they are uh, seeing towards the curative aspect but now a days now uh, the knock it the knocking period where uh everyone needs the preventive aspect and uh, they need the promotion of health so we have to start from the first itself 
uh, but if you currently uh, in the scenario after the 60 they will go for the they will give the uh, give go for towards the uh, prevention aspect but in ayurveda uh, they explain the one should start the prevention aspect from the start itself so uh, the sastrata starts with the uh, dinacharya utucharya ratri charya ahara nidra brahmacharya sadurata vajikarna yoga pranayama dharani and adharani vegas so many things which are explained uh, for the promotion of life uh, and uh, to maintain the health of healthy person and cure the diseased. So starts with the one by one that is uh, what is the role of Sasturutta in such a things that uh, role of the first one is the, to maintain the personal health. Personal health that is uh, how to maintain one's personal health? It is ex entirely explained in Dinacharya. Let us start with Dinacharya. We start with the Brahmi Murti to Uttish state. If we go for the definition of Dinacharya, it is the Dine Dinacharya Dinacharya. means one which is the regular activity of the person. Starts with the uh, Brahmi Murti to Uttish state. Start to the Nidra Avastha. So, what actually Brahmi Murti? One should wake up at the Brahmi Murti. That is just uh, to oh, Yama before the, sorry, uh, to Prahara before the sunrise okay so that is uh, generally calculating the 96 minutes before the uh, sun, uh, sunrise so uh, why we should maintain the source that is if we say uh, there is a reference we are getting that nagari nagara seva ratha seva rathi yata sosharasya nidhavi kuteshwa vaito bhavet that is nagari nagarasya eva ratha seva rathi yata sosharasya nidhavi kuteshwa vaito nagari nagara seva uh, how the Nagara Palaka is doing the action of uh, Nagara and uh, the uh, Sarthi is making the action of his Ratha. The same thing the wise person should uh, make the action of his body. So he has to follow the Dhinacharya, he has to follow the Rutacharya, he has to follow the Ratacharya and the Ahara Nidra Brahmacharya as explained as the Trayopastamba of Ayurveda because Ahara is the main thing. Okay, aharat ayu lavate. So, ahara uh, is the main thing where we get the uh, lifespan. So, this ahara is again classified to sattvika, rajasika, and the tamasika aharas. And this ahara, you know, what time we have to take the ahara, which type we have to take ahara, and uh, how many quantity we have to take ahara, everything is explained in the classical text. So, if you go through the in, in detail, there is no, Ashtavida Ahara uh, and Dalshavida Ahara Aitanas are explained in uh, classical text that we, one has to follow. That is, for example, Ushna Mashniya, one has to take the Ushna Ahara only. Uh, and then uh, in Ahara, then when to uh, drink the water during the food or after the food or before the food, that also uh, explains what is the role of uh, Jala, the Ajayne Bhesha Muvari. That everything is explained in the R. Then again comes to the Virudhar, which is the most uh, favorite and uh, uh, important topic in current scenario. Yad dosham utklesham, tan nirharet kayata, tat virudham. That is, uh, this is explained in uh, classical text. That is, uh, Virudhara, which is uh, uh, not suitable to the body. Then also currently, if we go through uh, market or anywhere, we are getting uh, many persons who are taking the Viruddhahar or uh, we can correlate this Viruddhahar with the current young foods and which are uh, important uh, uh, factor to cause the non-communicable disease and uh, because in, uh, if you uh, see the classification that is mainly entire the disease classified into two categories that is uh, non-communicable disease and communicable disease and the non-communicable disease are majorly majorly caused by the or uh, the uh, which the word we are using as a faulty lifestyle the faulty lifestyle there where the food may play it plays the important uh, role uh, so to prevent all these things uh, to uh, that is for me and for others uh, for self and for others uh, which is good thing one has to follow and uh, uh, to be safe from the uh, disease and uh, same thing for social health it comes under social health also to attend the goal of public health in public health the major thing is 
ಇದು ಕೊಡದ ಸದ್ಬೃತ್ತು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಸಿನಾರಿಯೋ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಯಾಂಡಮಿಕ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ದ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದ ಗೈಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸ್ಪಿಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರೋಡ್ ಸ್ನೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಕವರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೌತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ವಾಶ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಹೋಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಬಾತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾತ್ ಸೆಪ್ರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಹೆಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸದ್ವೃತ್ತ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫಾಲೋ ದ ಸದ್ವೃತ್ತ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸದ್ವೃತ್ತ ಅಂದರೆ ಸತಾಮೃತ್ತಮ ಅವಶ್ಯ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಅವಶ್ಯ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎವ್ರಿ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಟು ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸದ್ವೃತ್ತ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಫಾಲೋ ದ ಸದ್ವೃತ್ತ ಟು ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ದ goal of public health so in public health both parties that is eh loka and par loka both parties has to you know, follow the sadvurt and same thing prevention of communicable disease so to prevent the communicable disease in uh, if you go through charak uh, we will get the janapadhonsi adhyaya in that janapadhonsi adhyaya uh, we are getting the uh, references how the this is get a transfer from one person to another person so which are the modes of transferring the diseases which are the how the disease transfer to one person to another person their uh, mode of transmission are explained uh, so that uh, mode of transmissions one should stop then uh, come to the non communicable disease in non communicable disease there is a major positive factor is the faulty lifestyle then this faulty lifestyle one has to uh, prevent or one has to stop the faulty lifestyle by the ahara that is proper ahara one has to take then proper nidra one has to take then follow the brahmacharya ara brahmacharya and then where to oh, follow the uh, yoga and pranayama which is explained in sastrutta also then uh, what uh, is exactly uh, we we'll go for the yoga and pranayama what is the yoga and what is the pranayama so simple the yoga yoga is very broad aspect uh, we have to go for very we, we are unable to uh, get the detail now in this session regarding the yoga but yoga is a simple thing yoga is nothing but the one has to concert our mind one has to control over our mind it is the main aim of yoga and again yoga is uh, there are so many branches in yoga asana is one among the branch okay there is called ashtanga yoga so this in asana we have to follow the yoga we have to follow the yoga asana oh, daily morning one has to oh, undergo or one has to do half an hour or one hour for the yoga asana surya namaskara then uh, many pranayamas are explained then uh, that one has to follow the pranayama and after uh, doing the yoga asana and pranayama we will get control over our wa- uh, vata and that control and automatically we will control ourselves and this uh, controlling over our mind automatically we will control the dharani and adharani vegas okay dharani vegas one has to do suppress the urges one adharani vegas one should not suppress the urges especially dharani vegas are the kama krodha moha murcha etc are the dharani vegas that, that should not should be suppressed and uh, it is for the benefit of the society and for ourselves also while adharani vegas one should not suppress because they uh, cause the uh, disease on our other other uh, way then another concept is uh, achar rasayana so achar rasayana that is nitya dugda sevana and nitya dugda sevana uh, are explained in the achar rasayana then apto desha the main thing is apto desha that is uh, the charakas are explained charakin charakanta we get the reference of apt who is going to tell the apt so we have to decide the apt and we have to follow his guidelines and we have to uh, follow uh, him as a uh, uh, guide and uh, we have to do our uh, duties so uh, then coming to the communicable disease uh, one full chapter in manastaram janapadosi adhyaya 
uh, we'll get the detailed information of communicable disease, mode of transmission, positive factor of the disease, treatment of disease and prevention of disease. Everything is explained in the uh, uh, this Janapadhosiya uh, Adhyaya. So in Janapadhosiya, uh, so that uh, Kushta Jala Shoshashtha Netra Vishanda Evacha Aupsari Karogante Sankramanti Naran Naran. That is, if this toka starts with the Prasangat, Gatra Sansarshat, Nishwasat, Saha Bhojnat, Saha Shayashana Chapi Vastra Gandha Malyano Lepnat, Kushta Jala Shoshashtha Netra Vishanda Evacha Aupsari Karogante Sankramanti Naran Naran. That is, uh, this toka that is, Prasangat, Gatra Sansarshat, see uh, the correlation or just to coordinate this shloka with the current era. Prasangat, Gatra Sansarshat, Nishwasa, Saha Bhojana, Saha Shayashana Chapi, Vastra Gandha Malyano Lekna, Kushta Jara Shoshashtha Netra Vishandi Evacha, Aupsar Kikarogante, Sankramantina, that is Kushta Jara Shoshana Netra Vishandi etc are the Aupsarge Karoga and also called as Sankrama Karoga. Aupsarge Karoga means Aupsarge Narakadi Pradhan Bhava that is one which spreads from the one person to another person. And the same thing is explained in uh, current books that is uh, in what they use the modern terminologies that the disease which spreads by the respiratory route, which spreads by uh, that is aerosol route. Okay, or would spread by the contact, the disease which spreads by the contact is called as contagious disease. Okay, in explanation I will also, Prasangat, Gatra Samsarshat, Nishwasat is the aerosol. Sahabhojna by taking the food, food poison and this is like the food poison. Sahashayashana Chapi, that is a venereal disease. Now they are calling it as a STD disease. Okay, so Vastra Gandha Malya Nulepana, that is using the other's material. Okay, they, they, you may get the disease like the uh, skin disease, like a scabies, etc. So, these things already explained in our classical text. So, one has to follow these uh, rules. In, we can call it as a rules, or we can call it as a suggestions. Uh, and they, they are, these books so, acts as a guide in our life. So everything is explained in our science. That we are, that one we have, which is our duty to materialize that uh, topic in current era. Uh, if you see the COVID-19, the uh, government guidelines are frequent we have to all time because it is contagious. This ancient thing is explained in our classical science of Prasangat Gatra Sansparsha. Then Nishwasa, by sneezing we have to cover our mouth, it is explained in Sadurta. In Sadurta uh, it is explained that we have to cover our mouth before the sneezing. So to uh, prevent the communicable disease or Sankrama Karoga or Aupsarya Karoga, we have to follow Sadurta. Sadurta is the only thing by which we can prevent the communicable disease. This comes to non-communicable disease. The non-communicable disease are also explained in Ayurveda and currently a new word they are given that is uh, NCDs and major prevention can be done to following the Charyatraya, Trayoprastamba, Yoga and Pranayama. Then this non-communicable disease especially uh, diabetes, cancer, hypertension and most important obesity. These are the things are like many diseases are there which comes under the non communicable disease and the prevention and uh, there is only uh, secondary or tertiary prevention in uh, modern science but primordial prevention is not in modern science so primordial prevention it is in their Ayurveda so follow the Dhinacharya Brahmi Murti Dutti Shte one should wake up in the Brahmi Murti and then go for the Vyayama. They are not explained the gym, etc. So, Vyayama and Asana are different things. Okay, so we have to go for the Yoga Asana, we have to go for the Vyayama. Vyayama is nothing but the Ayama Vedangana. Vyayama is Tuchate. Then, how much time we have to, Ardha Shakti Nisayas to? That is half of our body strength, one has to go for the Vyayama. Then what are the Lakshana for the Shakti? 
they also expand after after getting the that lakshana of our to stop our exercise otherwise we will always get the disease then we have to go for the asana there are lot of different between asana and vyayama one has to go then go for the asana then uh, there are 17 headings explained in the nacharya when to do the abhyanga when to do the uh, this jiva nirlekhana etc etc explained in dinacharya that all one has to follow and come to the ahar how much ahar we have to take only the explained to one has to take ahar for the two times and after the next ahar should be taken after the jirna lakshana only ajirna when a person is in ajirna avastha one should not take the ahar then when one has to go for the sleep so there should be minimum 3 to 4 hours in between the uh, dinner and sleep then they explain the uh, ushnodaka so one has to take the hot water for the drink then which type of ahara they also explain in our classical text then coming to the nidra nidra the how much one has to take the nidra prakrut nidra lakshana and vikrut nidra nidra is the only causative factor for the causing of the disease nidra yatum sukham dukham pushtim karsham balavalam vrashatam klebitam jnanam adnanam jivitam nacha okay so one has to go for the proper sleep so this proper sleep is uh, in necessity for the uh, good life and current scenario if you also in the multinational companies majority of persons are uh, suffering from the stress and stress related disease why because they are not getting the proper sleep they are not getting the proper ahara sattvic ahara one has to get they are not getting the sattvic ahara they are not getting the uh, proper nidra and this media is the major whatsapp current generation is living up to 12 1 2 o'clock they are in the live on the online on the whatsapp and by that they are waking up at the late morning so this uh, by this change lifestyle it causes stress or non-communicable disease and uh, constipation like uh, disease and which uh, in the uh, very which causes the, again the uh, various causes the uh, disease that is because the rogo is so happy and they so uh, majority of uh, disease which comes under the non-communicable they may uh, they are causing by the 40 lifestyle 40 food habit and 40 boil habit so we have to uh, clean up the all these things and we have to go for the uh, proper uh, following of the dinacharya, rutacharya, ratracharya, etc. and uh, the, it also explains in Bhavaprakash that is benefit of this as the dinacharya, nisacharya, rutacharya, yathovitam, acharan purusham swastha, sadhat ishtati anyatha okay, sadhat ishtati anyatha that is one has to follow the dinacharya, one has to follow the rutacharya, one has to follow the ratracharya, one has to uh, by the following the person will remain always so, uh, so uh, that is another concept of ahara we will get that tachya nityam pranayujyatyam swastha inuvartati ayata nam yukarana manutpatti karam chayat so tachya nityam pranayujyatyam swastha inuvartati ayata nam yukarana manutpatti so one has to have the proper ahara for remaining the uh, health so lastly so for coming to the conclusion of uh, this session as uh, if one has to maintain the health of health, then he has to follow the charyatriya, that is dinacharya, rutu charya, ratri charya, then he has to go for the yoga, pranayama, and by this he will maintain the health and the main thing will control our manas and he has to follow the sadhurta. So uh, it uh, it not needs uh, many hours and it's a daily if you started to performing it will become the your day-to-day -day activity and if you once uh, you have started adapting in your lifestyle it will become very easy to you and uh, it will use the uh, healthy life and uh, you will become the that is what are the main aim of life it is dharma artha ka moksha get the moksha so 
uh, this is the conclusion and the take home message of uh, this session is only to follow the Ayurveda, uh, live Ayurveda, love Ayurveda and follow Ayurveda and lastly I want to say thanks to youth of Ayurveda for giving opportunity and uh, uh, like uh, their Facebook page and uh, attend the, all the video lectures of them. Thank you, thank you one and all.